everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to add your error bars onto your averaged data that we used uh, to generate our line plot and this was using our cardiovascular data set. Alright so here is the graph that I produced uh, depicting recovery heart rate over our five uh, minute interval post exercise from lab one. I what I've actually plotted here are the averages uh, of the student data at each time point, time zero, uh, and then one, two, three, four, five minutes out following that exercise interval. And what I want to now add is some indication of how variable the data are uh, around each of those averages because if you think about it, this data point right here that I'm pointing to with the mouse, that 121 uh, beats per minute, that's the average of all of the student uh, data in the class, right? But what I want to know is how variable those data were or how wide the range was around that mean. And to depict that on my graph, I can do that using error bars that show the standard deviation of that mean. Now again, we talked about this in class, but what that standard deviation is showing you, one standard deviation above and below the mean is capturing 68% of your uh, data that you use to generate that mean. Right, so how do we do that? Well, we need to uh, use another formula in Excel, and the formula for standard deviation is just STDEV. So we want to type equals STDEV. Oops, that's not what I want to do. So I'm going to add another row here. I'm going to label it uh, standard deviation just so I don't get confused with what I'm looking at here. Now, this is the cell that I want the answer to appear in right, the calculation to appear in. So here's where I type my formula, equals STDEV, open parentheses, and now I can tell Excel what I want it to average. And I'm going to select exactly the same data that I selected to generate that average. Now be careful that you don't accidentally select uh, things like your x-axis label or the average that you've already calculated. You just want to select the data. Okay, and there I've selected the data. Click enter and there's my standard deviation around that mean. Now again in Excel it's re really easy to copy that formula over all the way across this row. You just click and drag and there's the standard deviation for each of those averaged uh, uh, data sets. Now to add these standard deviation points onto the graph we need to make sure that the chart is selected if it is, you'll have your chart tools. You can go to chart layout. You can go up and select error bars. And when you do, you want to choose this last option, more error bars options. We have already calculated our standard deviation and we want Excel to add on what we've already calculated. When you click on that, you're going to see that you can choose the style of your error bar. Generally, you want to show both the up and the down error bar because that depicts above and below your mean, how far up and down you have to go uh, to capture 68% of your data set. And then you're going to click custom and specify the value that you want Excel to use for those plus and minus error bars. So your positive error value for that averaged series is going to be this range. Your negative error value is going to be the same. So you click that and say OK and close and now your error bars have been added onto your chart. So now we can see that to capture 68% of our student heart rates at uh, time zero, we'd have to go up and down 31 beats per minute. So that's a pretty broad range uh, of values uh, for the students in the class. Okay, hope you found that helpful.